Hey guys, and welcome to another live. Um, I just did our Valentine's Day setup. I'm thinking I'm going to do more just because I had my camera set up. I'm on my MacBook doing this live right now, and I had my camera set up um, to see like what you guys would see. And there's just some bare spots, so I'm probably going to add some more. But for those of you guys who have been subscribed to me, like back in during Mary Seamus or my vlogmas, um, you all raved about my backdrop that I did and it was all like handmade. I make them. So, I mean, I don't make the fabric, but I like do all of this, if that makes sense. Um, but as you come on the live, be sure that you do say hello. I will say hello back. But I thought you guys might like to see what I have so far. I think it's super cute. And I like to do it for different holidays. And, you know, just now starting out on YouTube, it's like just not it, sis, to buy the like Amazon backdrops or any backdrops. And I don't like just plain backdrops. I don't like the way my videos look that way. I like when there's stuff going on. So this is what I have so far. Um, I'm thinking about getting some like pink and red beads maybe um, to have hanging down as well. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I'm going to go and see what I can find. But also, <laughs> I got some packages today. And I think you might know what one of them was. First of all, we have a new chair. So I'm not sitting. Ooh, I got ripped the heart off. Um, we have a new chair. So I'm not sitting in that chair with a leg like this anymore. I'm sitting in like a comfortable, like leather, nice white chair, which you can probably kind of see there. Shout out to Bath and Body Works Wallflowers. <laughs> um, but aside from that, this came. And after run a few polls. I've ran two polls so far. I've asked you guys, you guys have made your, your decisions in the comments. You've voiced your opinions and told me what you guys are thinking as far as this palette goes. And Chris is not giving me the option to destroy it. Um, and somebody told me to use a flamethrower. I don't have a flamethrower. I'm not David Dobrik. But I'm thinking I'm going to run one more poll because the two polls that I've ran are like 50, 50, like 50% of people uh, say, you know, if you use it, don't show it on your channel or they don't want to see it basically. And then 50% are saying, yes, I want to see a look. I want to, I want to hear your thoughts, blah, blah, blah. So if you watch this live, let me know what your thoughts are. If you want to see a review on this, let me know. Um, I'm going to run another poll on Instagram as always after this live is up on my channel. I will have my Instagram in the description box so you can go follow me and be a part of that poll. But guys, of course, the hardware, it's all super nice. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It is nice. It took forever to get here. But aside from that, I'm not trying to blind you all. But let's see. Woo. Here is the palette and the only comment that I do have is that it's a little busy um everything's just like all over the place you know what I'm saying like you've got just a lot going on it's just a lot so I don't know let me know what you guys want if you want to see it um I'm gonna ask you guys one more time over here what you guys want from this palette um, because it's purchased. Unfortunately, I purchased it before all this shit went down, but I purchased it. So now I need to know what to do with it. So please guys, let me know. Do you want to see a review? And there's no way for me to take out of my brain like what has happened. So I don't know. I don't know what my thoughts are going to be considering everything that's happened, but let me know. But also, on a brighter note, um, I got some more lashes, which you guys know these I rave about. I get all of my lashes on Amazon. They're super inexpensive. You get a bunch of them. They're faux mink, and they're fantastic. You can wear them. I wear these like up to three 
sometimes four times. So that's kind of pushing it, but sometimes I do. And this is like a variety pack. So you can see there's like, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five of each style. So you got five, 10, 15, 20 lashes. A review would be a bit weird considering the drama surrounding him, but you do what you feel what's best. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I don't know. And you guys are so 50 50 on it. Like, some of you guys are like, I really want to hear your opinion on the palette. Some of you guys are like, I don't really want to see the palette. I don't give a shit about the palette. Some of you guys are like, well, you know, maybe if you use the palette, just don't use it on camera, which obviously I'm going to use the palette. I've done spent the money, but I don't know if I want to feature it on my platform. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm not going to do it unless you guys want me to. And so far, it's a lot of like, forget it. I don't want to see it. So I'm probably not going to feature it on my channel. Um, but yeah, these are the Jemire lashes. I think these were like $11. Um, a very nice quality. I love them. But what is going to be the next video on my channel? You guys will see this on. I'm so confused. You'll see this on Sunday. I'm losing my mind. You will see this on Sunday. This is the Sweet Oasis collection from Morphe. And guys, oh my God, it's so gorge. Um, the only thing is I didn't get the brush set. I just wasn't vibing with it. But I did order another brush set on live with you guys the other night from Morphe. And we'll see how that works out. But here is the lip glosses. You get three lip glosses in Tipsy, Shimmy, and Groupy. Again, this is the Morphe Sweet Oasis palette uh, or uh, <laughs> Sweet Oasis collection. And these are the glosses. Um, and then this is the palette. Um, the 35S Sweet Oasis palette by Morphe. It is 35 Shades of Paradise. And because I love you guys so much, I will give you guys a sneak peek. Um, let's see. Always package. Again, we're going to do a full video on this collection. You guys will see it on Sunday. I'll be filming it tomorrow. But this is the palette, just like a standard uh, Morphe palette, that same like material. And here we go. Here is the palette. How gorgeous is this, you guys? It's so beautiful, like so gorgeous. And this white up here, take me back. I've not seen one like this. It's a white, like a like a matte white, but it has like some, like a little bit of shimmer in it. It's gorgeous. Um, and I just love like, oh my gosh, sandbar. Like that is such a beautiful color. And then when you get over here, like are you joking me? Like this one right here is jumping out at me. Sail away. This one. Like, look how gorgeous this is. I'm so excited to create a look with you guys. Um, and to be honest, I'm going to be staying over in this region. I'm going to be doing something super fun because this is just full of color. And I'm just, oh, I'm so into it. And I really, really, really want to see what Coastline Cruise looks like on the lid or Reef Dive. These two right here are freaking like, but this one right here is like giving me life right now like that is just so gorgeous but yeah for a look um I know some of this is so pretty I'm so into it that's what I'm saying it was like the middle of the night and I get I get Morphe text messages which is dangerous but I got text messages saying the sweet oasis collection I just hurt myself and I'm like hmm <laughs> what's this and I clicked on it and I ended up falling asleep with my phone in my hand. And when I woke up later on in the morning to get ready for work, it was like, hey, ba Morphe, babe, you didn't check out. Take 15% off. And I'm like, okay, well, they're going to give me 15% off. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and check out. And I purchased it. And I'm into it. Like, gosh, these colors are just so, like that one right there. I haven't seen anything like that. Like, they're just so beautiful. They're so gorgeous. And I'm so excited. So. Yeah, if you want to see the swatches, talk price, see how the palette performs, um, all the deets, you will see that on Sunday. You guys know that I do not upload on Saturdays, um, but 
Also, I wanted to give you guys an update on the worst rated nail salon in my county, not even like my city, <laughs> the county, okay? Um, Y'all, when you live in the South, and this might be everywhere, let me know, but all I can speak for is the South. People's expectations vary based on what area they live in. Also, random question, but have you been watching WandaVision? It's really good, and the mystery surrounding it is amazing. No, I haven't. What is it on? Uh, what's it on? That side note, let me bring this up real quick just because I want you guys to know now that I have grown my channel a little bit more, I wanted to ask you guys. I used to have a series on this channel back when I first started um, before I had many subscribers and I basically just did what I wanted to. I had a series called Beauty and Documentary Breakdown, basically where I would talk about, about a documentary on Netflix or Hulu or wherever. Sometimes you guys would recommend them. Sometimes I would just pick one and we would do our makeup together and I would talk about, I would break down the documentary. Would you guys be into watching Beauty and Documentary Breakdown? Would that be something that you guys would like to see? So happy I finally got you live and your first person to ever say my name right. That I hate that. You know, that's the way it is with like my real last name. Obviously, Shay is not my last name. Um, but people do that all the time. Um, well, I don't know if you like anything Marvel related, but it's on Disney Plus. I'll have to check it out. Also, oh my God, speaking of documentaries, have you seen Don't go with cats no I haven't seen that um but yeah let me know would you guys be into beauty and documentary breakdown coming back and if you're unfamiliar and you want to watch a couple of episodes do keep in mind let's see let's see when my last beauty and documentary breakdown video was uploaded I know it's been a minute because um let's see I'd be into it for sure okay I loved it, and I know everybody's loving the My Thoughts On videos, um, even though so many people requested Gigi Gorgeous's, and it's literally setting at 40 views. Meanwhile, <laughs> the Shane Dawson one is almost at 1,000. Gabby Hanna's is, is at 400, and Trisha Paytas's is at 200. Gigi Gorgeous's is at 40, and that really, like, breaks my heart because I love Gigi. Um, okay. Gosh, it's been a minute since the last time I did a beauty and documentary breakdown. This is the last one I did right here. And it was on the confession tapes, which was so good. Um, let's see. A hundred and sixty one days. It's been five months. Five months ago since I did the last beauty and documentary breakdown. Um, but there's a whole playlist of the ones that I did do. Um, when I had the documentary, I had one on the John Bonet Ramsey documentary. I have one on nurses who kill. I'm a killer. Um, let's see girls incarcerated. Um, what is that? Killer released. The Gabriel Fernandez trials, which is freaking heartbreaking. And it was so hard for me to film. I broke it into two parts. Um, and American Murderer, which um, is the Chris Watts case. And that one was the most viewed one, I believe. No, it wasn't. It was uh, I'm a Killer season two. Um, but anyways, uh, if you all you all are saying you're into it, I'm done. Um, I loved it so much. It's also when I used to like order back draws like Amazon and people used to bitch about them so hard. I used to get such mean comments in regards to uh, my uh, backdrops that I used to do. But now that I make them myself, you guys seem to really like them. So 
Um, let's see. Don't fuck with cats is really interesting and heartbreaking. Definitely recommend it. Okay. Would you be into me breaking it down in a beauty and documentary breakdown? But wait, is it in regards to like, is it murder mystery? Because that is what theme I want to keep it on with beauty and documentary breakdown. I just started watching The Night Stalker on Netflix, three episodes in, and I have cried a few times. Is it, is that a documentary though, Sama? Is that like, um, like a true like murder mystery? I also have wanted to do one on Jodi Arias because I've read several books on her and um, I also wrote a paper about her in college. So I have like a ton of information in regards to Jodi Arias. Yes, I don't want to give away too much, but there's a murder of cats and a human being involved. What the freak? Okay, for sure. Also, I'm getting off on tangents, but I'm going to I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the worst rated nail salon in my county. Um, but I'm going to be doing a video. You guys will see it on Monday. Um People just need to work on their expectations. And you guys let me know, is this all over the place or is this only in the South? So in my little town, okay, it's considered like a private community. It's a little bitty town. We literally have one main road that runs through it with probably maybe four traffic lights. Like it's a very small town. And in our county, we have North, South, East, West type deal. Okay. And when I seen that this was the worst rated nail salon, I was like, that's weird because it's in the bougiest part of town. I'm like, okay, whatever. So it started off rocky because they called me and were like yesterday and canceled the appointment. I'm like, okay, whatever. I go to the appointment tonight. And after the experience, all I have to say is people really need to work on their expectations. Um, I took a little clip while I was in there, but it was really hard to because they were super, super busy. And this nail salon was in the bougiest part of my county. And that's the way it is around here. Let me know if it is there. In the bougier parts of town, is it harder to actually go by reviews because they're so snobby that they literally like are so harsh on reviews because that's how it is here. Like we cannot base any food review, any, you know, if we're going, say we're going out to eat and we go to Yelp and we're looking at reviews, if it is in, I'll just say it, West Knoxville, if it's in West Knoxville, like literally you cannot go by reviews because they are so bougie out there that they, like, they expect, like, I don't know what they expect. Like, their expectations are ridiculous. I went to this nail salon, and I'm going to go into full more detail in the video. Again, you guys will see it Monday. I had a great experience, though. I'll go ahead and tell you that. Um, and, again, I do have footage inside. I filmed footage after I left, and I don't know. If you were to base it off of the reviews, which I read with you guys here on live, I was prepared mentally to go in there and get a, fun a fungus. And I'm not even kidding. Uh, I'm so sorry about that. I would be super interested in a breakdown of it by you. Also, that nail place sounds super sketch. Worst rated in the whole county. It wasn't, though. It was not. It was not like that. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's in, it was in West Knoxville, which is a bougie, bougie, bougie part of Knoxville. And they freaking, people out there just expect, like, everything. They were super sanitary. They, she opened up a new pack for everything that she used on me, including a nail file. They had the, uh, dividers up they made you wear masks they take checked your temperature as you walked inside they did all the things like I don't know I don't know what people out there expect they expect like the most also sorry about the typos I usually space out 
when watching things. So I don't really pay attention to the spelling, LOL. I don't care. You can typo here. Summer, yes, it's true crime called Night Stalker, the hunt for the serial killer. Now that sounds like something I would definitely be into watching. By the way, if you're wondering what I'm putting on, this is um, bougie, but it's the Dior, um, what are these called? Mm, Dior Attic Lip Glow in 011 Hollow Rose Gold. I don't know if you can see that, probably not. But it's so moisturizing, so pretty. You guys hear Chris laughing? Also, I have, I used a hot glue gun for this. And I have hot glue all over the place. Um, yeah, you guys. Um, also, if you weren't here at the beginning of the live, I got my favorite lashes. I get these from Amazon. They're like 10 bucks for all these lashes. I love them. If you want the link, let me know. Um, and I'll send it to you. And, of course, if you didn't see in the beginning, I did get the Conspiracy Palette that I ordered on January 8th. It literally just got here after all this drama now. Um, oh, my chair. I got my new one. Let me show you guys. I got my new chair. Moving on up <laughs> to the east side. Here's my new chair. Yay. It's so comfortable and cute. Um, I love it. I was a little nervous about it being white, but it's better than what I had, you know. Um, but here's the conspiracy palette. I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to do a video on it, which it just doesn't feel right. And if things don't feel right for me, I just don't do it. And, you know, unfortunately, I purchased it before all this bullshit went down. But now it's went down and nobody's like. I haven't had, like I said, I've ran some polls on Instagram, but I don't know if I'm running them at like the wrong time of day. I'm asking you guys what you guys want me to do. And it's like 2 50 50 for me, for me to actually post a video. So unless something changes, I won't be using this on my channel. And yeah, sorry guys. I just don't, it just doesn't feel right for me to do. I just don't feel right. So I'm not, you know, um, also, I had a comment on today's video asking me to do a um, makeup collection. The only part of that is, is that part of my collection is not here. So, and I don't actually have the complete setup that I want. So things are kind of everywhere. Like my mom's, some things are here. Like not everything is here. But would you all want to see like what I keep right here? Like what are my favorites that I keep right here at hand for when I film? I could do that. Um, and then he also mentioned, or she, I don't know. Um, they mentioned um, like a favorite. Again, that's another type of video that I used to film when I started my channel. Nobody watched them, so I stopped doing them. I think I did it for the first four months that I had my channel. And then I stopped. Would you guys be into monthly favorites? Is that something you guys want? Completely understandable. Okay. So, yeah. I think I'm just going to go with my gut instinct on this one. And I'm not going to use the conspiracy palette um, on my channel. Okay. And especially after Trisha came out and with Rylan's podcast, bleh, I literally wanted to puke all over the place after watching Rylan's podcast. But I'm like, I don't even want to talk about them on my channel because literally they're so clout hungry. It's fucking gross. Like they are the most, like you literally traded a 12 year friendship for the devil. Like you literally sold your, your soul to the devil. Like you really did that. That's sad. That's like hardcore sad as fuck. And I really and truly in my heart of hearts thought, that like Shane was going to come around and like, no, 
Literally, no. And then Rylan, honey, nobody would have ever, like you would have never been anything without Shane. That's why people watch you for hopes of a glimpse of Shane. Like, the fuck? That's why you grew up like that. Hell, I had no clue who you were till Shane, you started dating Shane. Yeah, I think a monthly favorite thing would be interesting. Also, you could maybe do a thing like a most surprising item or most disappointed item. Okay, I'll do that. Literally, whatever you guys are wanting to see or whatever's missing from the internet for you guys, what's mi whatever's missing from YouTube, I will literally do whatever video you ask. Like, it's not hard. And I also created, um, I think it might have been VN, VNM that asked me to do the email. I created an email for you guys to email me or ask me questions or just, you know, whatever. Um, and I haven't gotten any emails yet, but... <laughs> I'm hoping soon you guys will email me. Again, if you're wanting to know that email, it's questions. I'll actually put it in the chat. And it's all lowercase, guys. Yeah, I got it right, yeah. And it's always in the description box as well. Also, Rylan really rubbed me the wrong way. Yes, he acted like the drama was all about him when his name was only mentioned, not even as a headline. Notice how he only said he was against Jay, but never Jeffree Star. Exactly. Like, Rylan is so fake as fuck, and he literally flies on the coattails of whoever, like, he only hangs out with people when it's convenient. He only hangs... And, Think about this, guys. Go back as far back as you can remember with Shane, okay? Think about all the friendships that's, like, dwindled away. And people ask, like, what happened? You know, what happened with this person? What happened with this person? Think about Drew. And you know that Trish and Drew still hang out because they go, they go to, um, what do you call it, to see Hamilton together all the time. What happened there? Drew is at Trisha's birthday party. And then you've got that other guy, what's his name? Um, that was in like his little group that was going to all those like haunting places. Um, the one that wears the glasses, what's his name? Garrett. And I think that actually has something to do with Jeffree Star because in the video, it was one of the documentaries with Jeffree Star, like the first time around. And um, they introduced Garrett to Jeffree Star. Jeffrey was like all like flirting with him and shit. Like, I think there's something there. I think that's the reason why Garrett doesn't hang out. And Garrett is like a genuine ass person. You can tell. Also, since we're talking about going far back and Shane's videos that included Ryland and Garrett, Ryland was always, Ryland was always nasty towards Garrett saying things like, we don't care when he, exactly. And you know what else? This is my personal opinion. So whatever, if you don't agree with it, that's fine. This is mine. You have yours, whatever. Opinions are like what? Assholes. And we all have one. I really and truly think that they have sold their souls to the devil. And if you do not believe in Satan or, or whatever, Think about the fact of them like just selling their souls to the darkness or something like the way that they're behaving gives me like when I was watching Rylan's podcast, I felt like talking about it, like literally you guys gives me fucking chills. Like I get bad vibes when I was watching Rylan's podcast. Not super, super, super fucking bad vibes. And Trisha mentioned this briefly in her latest video about it. And it makes perfect sense. Why the fuck else would you give up all of these friendships with all of these people? Because now you're, you're, 
you're you're riding the coattails of Jeffrey Star, meaning that everybody that he has a beef with now you do. Because now you've give up your best fucking friend for Jeffrey Star. What the fuck? Like you literally sold your soul. You know, some of the whole thing was very shady. I think Rylan was just a bit bitter or jealous since Shane had a history prior with Garrett. That is true. They did. They did actually meet through Bumble and Shane himself acted like that towards Garrett. So it's just icky. Yes, it is icky. And I would be very curious to know. Garrett would never do it, but I would be very curious to know as to why Garrett. That whole group like fade, faded away. I would be very curious to know that information. And also, I don't know if Ryland had anything to do with this. I, I'm thinking he did. Because, think about this, you guys. Really think about this. Before Ryland, okay, Shane and Trisha used to be do videos together all of the time. Up until she moved out of that, like, big house where, like, people broke in all the time. And she moved into the apartment she was in for, like, three years. Shane and her filmed all the time. Then Shane and Rylan get together. And they start, like, that haunted group. Like, it's Rylan and Morgan, Garrett, Andrew, and Shane. Trisha was dropped from the equation. I think that that was a manipulative tactic done by Ryland because Ryland didn't want Shane to be connected to Trisha because Shane would then be in drama because Trisha is always doing something. And, you know, I have my own opinions about all that. We won't get into that because a lot of people don't agree with my opinions on Trisha. But I think a lot of people use her mental illnesses against her. That's all I'm saying. But Anyways, I think that a lot of the things that Ryland and decisions that Shane has made, I think has been due to manipulation by Ryland, in my opinion. Also, in the Katie, I don't like Katie Morton. Katie Morton is a piece of shit and a dog ass liar. She, if you don't know the whole situation with Eugenia Cooney and Jacqueline Glenn and Katie Morton, it's fucking sick. And Katie Morton literally should not be able to call herself a therapist like ever. Like Jake Paul series that Shane did when they were talking about sociopaths, Shane muttered Garrett and he hinted he had a friend who may be sociopathic, obviously referring to G. That's fucked. I do not believe that for a split second. I do not believe for a split second that Garrett Watts is a sociopath. Of course, I don't know him in real life, but he doesn't give me the vibe. But no, Katie Morton, I do not like her at all. Like she literally went on that documentary with Eugenia and acted like, you know, oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's awful that your friends did that. You're the one who told Jacqueline about it. The fuck? Ugh, gross, gross, gross. Therapists who act shady like that freak me the fuck out. Like they literally are Satan in a Sunday suit and I don't give a shit. Like they are not good people at all. But anyways, guys, I just thought I would come on here and hang out with you guys tonight. Um, I missed you guys today. Um, I did upload today. I did. I did. I uploaded the uh, gynecologist uh, story time about the gynecologist I mentioned briefly in my gynecologist horror story. Um, so it was uploaded today and um, sorry, I'm reading comments. Um, I've been replying to comments all day. So yeah, again, tomorrow um, I will be filming the uh, Sweet Oasis review that will be up on my channel on Sunday and Monday we have the worst rated nail salon in my county video coming um we'll probably also do a beauty and documentary breakdown video next week you can also probably count on um my monthly favorites to come next week as well um we also have a um my thoughts on video coming um and I will be running a poll on that again 
actually, let me go ahead and do that now. Let's go ahead and start that poll right now. Let's see. I'm going to take a picture of you guys. <laughs> Actually, I'll do it right here. Boom. Oh, I look like a freak. There we go. All right, I'm putting a poll on. God damn it. Jesus, take the wheel. Okay, I'm about to put a poll right now on my Instagram. Where's the poll? Why can I not see? Oh, there it is. Okay, so. Somebody give me a my thoughts on person right now. Give me one. Has to be an influencer. YouTube. Who should we do the next? My thoughts video on. Somebody give me one. Also, for your questions, email, is it only, no, hey, makeup, or can we ask you about favorite shows, how to deal with life issues, etc.? You can ask me whatever you want. Onision, that's a good one. Be oh, ooh. Onision. Oh, my gosh, not omission. It does that every time. Onision. All right, who should be the other option? Onision or who? Any, any thoughts on a second option for the poll? VNM, you got anything? Summer, you still in here? You got anything? Whoever the third person is? Any influencer? Say Kim Star, but for someone like Onision, I mean, I don't know if anyone else is disgusting as Onion Boy. Me neither. I don't think there is anyone as disgusting as him. Um, we'll do Keemstar and see what, I don't really know anything about Keemstar though. So I would have to do a lot of homework on him. Mm, not Keemstar because I don't want to do that much homework on that motherfucker. Not that I don't like him. I don't know him. I just don't, <laughs> Ugh, whatever. Um, let's say Tana. We'll do Tana. Okay. It's up. Who should we do? The next My Thoughts video on Onision or Tana. Going now. Done. Gosh, people are already voting. Okay, so be sure that you do uh, follow me on Instagram in order to vote for the um, Onision or Tana um, for the next time. Um, I love you guys so much, and until next time, bye.